Yo, what's up guys, your boy Chris here of 1980-something Co. coming at you again with another unboxing video. And this time, it really is an unboxing, not, in a, not an unpackaging, it's a real unboxing video. Why? Because I have a box. <laughs> so, we're gonna open this bad boy up. See, uh, as always, all these videos that I do, I'm opening up packages uh, from things that I've bought, that I've sniped all for my website so everything that you're gonna see coming out of this box is gonna be on the website friday shoot i always look back i always fuck up on the day friday uh friday the 19th so friday june 19th you will see most of these things here because as always some of these things i have to keep uh some of these things i have to stash because they're so dope but the majority always end up on the website so let's get into this box now you would think I would be more prepared and have my scissors right there, but I don't. So let me grab them from over here. All right, here we go. Uh, on the shelf today, we got stacks of stuff that I just like stash away. Uh, new items, outgoing items, uh, stash items, cool hats. Check out this hat, I love this hat right here. Sega Afterburner hat. My boy Matt, quiet.works, who does all the uh, website work for Virtual Flea told me about this game and I didn't realize what it was until he told me this is an arcade game where you're like flying jets and uh, I love corduroy hats so this is dope blue corduroy hat. I've had this one for a minute and just decided to throw it on the other day and uh, fell in love with it but all right let's go ahead and open this up all right one two and three as always most of these items are from virtual flea Virtual Flea is currently every Saturday and Sunday. This coming Saturday, we're only doing uh, only Saturday instead of both days because it's uh, Father's Day Sunday and I'm a father, so I'm probably gonna be hanging out with the family. Well, I'm definitely gonna be hanging out with the family. All right, here we go. Nicely packaged. Tissue paper. All right, here we go. Off top, top look, check that out. We got Cable Guy and Betty Boop shirt. Really dope. All right, I'm excited to get in this box now, just off that top look. Okay, so first up, let's check out that Betty Boop. So it's a size medium, good size medium, and uh, it's just got Betty Boop's head on the front, and then it's got this little hip hit right here. It says BMC, Betty's Music Club. So I don't know, what does that look like to you? Because to me, it kind of looks like they're doing a Napster rip. So I wanna go ahead and say that this is a Betty Boop Napster rip. But you guys let me know in the comments. I may be wrong, it's okay. I don't mind being wrong. I don't mind being corrected. Marina tag. Up next, Cable Guy. Dope piece right here again. On the uh, a nicely faded tee. Title hit on the front. Get wired today on the back. Jim Carrey flick. Not one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. In fact, I didn't really dig this one at all, but um, bad movies make the best tees, especially when it comes to vintage. So this one's cool. I just love the hit. And just knowing that you got a Jim Carrey tee on is, is uh, a plus. It's on that team champ tag, size large. All right, up next, we got a Spider-Man joint. Uh, this is not the 90s Fruit of the Loom Spider-Man, it's not a Mega, but I love this one because uh, it's just a really cool solid graphic for Spidey. And uh, I've been wanting to stock up more on these graffiti uh, tees. So this one's dated 2000, and you'll see it's got the graffiti hit on the sleeve with the marble hit on the sleeve. Really dope. And yeah, just these graffiti tees have artwork from comics that were later, not like the, like the 90s tees that you see, those are from comics from like the 80s artwork and early 90s artwork and these graffitis will have like late 90s 2000s artwork and uh it's really cool that spider-man looks really dope so that's a cool piece up next cartoon tees we got this bedrock bowlers so in the cartoon 
Fred and Barney were bowlers. So this is like a little uh, T from, it says 93 of them. Probably from like a local bowling alley in the 90s. So that's pretty cool. Up next, we got a movie T. This is uh, Jay and Silent Bob, dated 1999. Look at that graphic, so fire. Holy shit, I'm just noticing right now that the sleeve hit not only has the graffiti, which I'm a new fan of lately, but it also has the View Askew Productions, which is the production company uh, that makes all these movies, uh, all the movies, the Kevin Smith movies. I believe it's his production company for uh, Clerks, these Jay and Silent Bob characters, Blunt Man and Chronic, AKA. So this is a really dope piece. All right, moving on. Oh shit, forgot about this. So I got two of the Spideys. One's in like good condition and this one's nicely faded. So I don't know, drop in the comments, which one would you rock? The nicely faded, it's got the sleeve hits too, or the, the solid black colored one. All right, here we go. Up next, we got, this one's a nice plain one, size XL, but uh, I, I've said in previous videos, I just love McDonald's tees, I don't know why. Just the colors are just like how they remind you of your childhood, begging your mom for a quarter pounder or a Big Mac and some fries. Uh, I still go stop by a, a McDonald's when I'm just like driving around. It's like, there's always time for some dollar fries, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love McDonald's fries, they're the best. But uh, RMCC, I gotta look up what that stands for, but it looks like it has something to do with charity. You got the Ronald McDonald hand with the kid's hand and that cartoony artwork. So dope, great piece, love that one. Up next, we got uh, this Stone Cold tee. Oh, you see the back already? Do it the hard way on the back, and then the front has the skulls. I think that's what you wanna see on a Stone Cold tee is like skulls. Uh, you wanna see the man himself, but just the skulls are always just badass artwork. And these look like they're kinda like drilled on. So that's fire. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great merch for that guy. Uh, this is a dope piece. I'm gonna hold off on this one right here. Save that one for in a bit. But keep it going. We got a nicely worn in Miles Davis tee. There you go. Nicely faded, nicely worn in. Boom, boom. Pretty fire. This one's really dope because, uh, all right, this is size large. Ralph Lauren polo bear. Now I don't wear polo bear. I, I haven't really picked up much polo bear lately, but this one's insane because the polo bear is dressed kind of like feminine. He's kind of like, it's like a fee, but it's not a female tee. It's, a, it's like, it could be like a male medium. I don't know, but I, I, th I thought it was really dope. It's just different from always seeing like the more masculine outfits that he's wearing to see him dressed up as like ice skater, you know? All right, this I'm gonna save for later too. Up next, we have another Betty Boop here. This one's really cool. I'm not getting the reference on this one if, there, if, it, is, if it even is one to something, but uh, I just love the colors on it. And it's got the back hit of her and all those different colorful dresses. So that's dope. And then up next here, we have this MC Escher mullet. That's really dope. It has a man himself right there on the front. That's sick. It's on, of course, the Andazia, right? Yep, Andazia tag. Nicely faded. Looks like there's a different fade from the shirt to the collar. I love that. And then it's got the uh, back hit. Whew. That thing's fire. Still can never get over MC Escher pieces. All right, up next we have, oh, these are the two that I was saving for the end. So check this out, guys. This Hot Wheels joint, how insane is that? So you guys know that I love NASCAR tees, but to have a NASCAR tee um, collab is great. So I've had like, on here I've had NASCAR and McDonald's, NASCAR and Skittles, uh, there's just different really dope NASCAR pieces that are collab, but this one is dope. This is the all over print, Hot Wheels, Kyle Petty hit on the back, wrap around graphic. And then this one right here is another Hot Wheels NASCAR tee, but uh, it's not the all over print. It's just the chess hit and that thing's insane. So, yep, that's this box. Uh, I have more stuff over here that I still have to open, but uh, I'm gonna save this for next week video. I'm gonna let this pile up, but um, I kind of really wanna get into this. So 
I think I am going to open something out of here. Since I opened a box, let's get the other box out of the way too. Is there any other boxes in here? Let's just do boxes. Today's a box day. Alright, here's another box. Uh, is that another? Is that the last box? Okay, yeah, that's the last box. Let's go to these boxes. So we got one from... Uh, this one's from All Over Prince. He was on the Virtual Flea. And this one is from... I think this is Frankie Ace. All right, so let's do the All Over Prince one because this one I'm super excited to open up. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't really see many people ship with FedEx. Anything else in there? Nope. Kroger bag. All right. Ooh. Ooh, okay, cool. So I got this tee right here, size XL, Whitney Houston, Welcome Home Heroes. So I believe this is where the 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 performance where she did, uh, this was like back before they called HBO. They called it Home Box Office, so they typed it out right there. There's no HBO logo on this. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> but I believe this was, and you should YouTube this performance where she does the uh, national anthem. Uh absolutely kills it rest in peace Whitney Houston incredible performer legendary singer just legendary legendary rest in peace Whitney Houston super hyped on that one thanks for that one Nick uh, and then I also got from him this lady's first tea uh, anything with Missy Elliott I'm a fan but we also got Beyonce and Alicia Keys dated 04 we got the dates on the back I also I also got this one in a medium but I think it's gonna be in the packages in there uh, I might hold off on posting that lady's first shirt this Friday in order to save it for when I open up the other stuff. But, all right, let's do one last box. And then I'll let you guys resume whatever it is you were doing. All right, opening a box. This is from Jesus, my boy Frankie Ace. We got a package. And the first thing we got is this size large tales from the crypt christmas tea might hold on to this one for uh the holidays just to trip people out but look the stocking's got like bones in it and spider webs and then the bottom of the stocking has actual toes sticking out and then you got the crypt keeper on a rare nice little forest green tea usually are you know all vintage teas for some reason are white black so to find another color is a nice little switch up all right but in the box we have Okay, cool. So in the box we have so this Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. I actually just had this one and sold it on the website last week. So to get it again is really dope. Really good graphic. I love the colors on that one. And like these lettering, this lettering up here and this lettering is like kind of like, I call it jelly print because it feels like very, like feels like jelly. <laughs> it's not puff print because puff print is thick um and kind of chalkier and this one is like you could feel it's slick it's glossy so i call it jelly print and so is the uh so is the lightning here and i don't think that it is glow in the dark i think i tried it on the last one it wasn't glow in the dark it looks like it is but it's not and then this one here is not necessary this is not vintage but uh this is a t from the first iron man film so i had to scoop this up let's see if there's a date on it because, I mean, the first Iron Man film is legendary for what it did for the Iron Man franchise, for what it did for Marvel Studios. Uh, just uh, an exceptional character that really changed movies and the way movies are made because, you know, he kind of kicked off the whole everything for Marvel. So this was the original campaign artwork for Iron Man. I remember seeing this artwork and thinking like, oh, that could be cool. Like, I'm surprised they went with that character because... You know, Marvel is known for prime. I mean, Iron Man is definitely one of the main characters, but like to me as a kid, I wouldn't see much Iron Man. You would see other characters like Spider Man, Silver Surfer, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, you would see a lot of. But you didn't really see a lot of Iron Man. Like, I don't know, I feel like he was a secondary hero. But when I saw him getting his own movie, I was like, that could be fun. And man, was it an amazing film! Super entertaining. Uh, and like I said, just kicked off everything for Marvel. So 
Uh, this shirt right here, although it may not be worth like hundreds of dollars right now, I just feel like it's a badass tee because I love this movie. I love all the Marvel t all the Mar Marvel films. So super hyped on getting my hands on this one. And like I said, I just remember this was the campaign artwork that they did for the film. It wasn't like a crazy poster with all the characters on it. It was literally just him, black background. Uh, him, extended arm, you know, doing the light thing that he does out of his hand. And like, just that. Just him, black background. And uh, dude, I think that's what shocked everybody about the film is that it's a character that you're not super familiar with. Uh, campaign was just him, black background, movie, fire. You know, so super hyped to get my hands on that one. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. My son is starting to cry in the background, so I think my wife needs a little bit of help with him. So I'm gonna end the video here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go to virtualflea.auction if you wanna auction on some, uh, bid on some really cool things, you can register. Take a look at the items, bid on some things, get some things for steals, get some rare things in your hands that, that you've always may have wanted to get your hands on. Every weekend I do a virtual flea. That's where I get a list of vendors that sell with me. I put their information in my bio link through that day or that weekend. Lately we've been doing Saturday and Sunday for the virtual flea. And I go live with them all day. Super fun, super good vibes. A lot of really cool pieces that you get to see. And it's like a real flea market setting where you get to meet the vendor that's selling you the stuff that you're interested in. So virtual flea is every weekend on my Instagram, 1980 something co. I gotta go. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, 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 peace.